I thought this was supposed to be about stocks. Where? What's up, people? We all pissed off this morning? Did you not have the, the, the large enough set of balls to go long Friday at around 11, 30, 12 o'clock where you saw all the bottoms starting to hold? The ass crack bottom formation where we rally, test the bottom again, forming that nice, either you can look at it as a nice round ass or maybe the sagging balls into the erection formation, whatever you want to call it. I'm writing my own book. I'm going to rename all the formations and call them what I want to call to break it down into layman's terms. Basically, it's the saggy ball into the erection formation or a big check mark or whatever you want to call it or the ESF exhaustion situation formation where you got the stocks that are just they got that one last moment down where you've got this the last moron who decided to sell out or go short gets caught v bottom and then we go up like that we saw a lot of that going on on friday whether or not you had the courage the balls the chutzpah to stay long overnight in the face of the iran or the israeli conflict that is finally escalating to where everybody thought it would be but then again it's not escalating maybe it is escalating again do we care no we trade on technicals and we try to stay as far away from everything else as possible. Again, holding stocks over the weekend, never a good idea, especially when our uh, our market has been in such turmoil. You never know what's going to happen over the weekend. Another shoe will drop. But if you had the courage to just stay with the technicals, hanging overnight, and the bottom line is, are you wondering if I had the balls? <laughs> what are you, nuts? I held FSLR over the weekend. And what I did was not go short. I'm still in the SLV, and today we added some Tesla. But I want to just show you a quick video clip of what the stocks we were doing in the morning. Because if you wake up in the morning, now, here's how I woke up. Oh, NASDAQ futures are up. Looks like I'm not going to be buying anything at, at a cheap price. Open the market. Next thing you know, all I'm looking to do is play the fade. Anytime you see a stock market gapping up, all I'm looking for are shorts. So we had a couple of shorts. We had ADSK, APKT, and Monster.com, uh, Gilead. And on the long side, we had Tesla and Z. The Tesla and the Z, a little bit of a chase, but we like them enough to go long. I never buy stocks after I've missed uh, a gap up, ever. I don't care. I'd rather sit and do nothing. But if I don't get the exact price of a stock that I want to buy, I'm not buying it. You know what? The market could go up a 1,000 points from now if a stock doesn't fit my criteria, I'm not buying it. So Tesla fit the criteria, Z fit the criteria. And that was about it for the long side. We had a few other things. I forgot, oh yeah, GMCR. We've been talking about GMCR once it held that 2250 a couple of weeks ago. Whether or not they report good earnings or bad earnings, does it really matter? No, it's about oversold conditions. This is the five point bounce that we were looking for. Whether or not we hold on to this thing into the report next week, you're nuts if you are. You're nuts if you hold anything into earnings. There's so many opportunities out there. You don't need to hold overnights. You don't need to swing trade. You don't need to invest. All you need to do is watch this next little clip of these charts and see what you can do every single day. There's at least four or five things where you can make a day's pay. You're not going to get rich. You're not going to make a million dollars overnight. You just want to try to make a living, and I think that's what we're all here for. So let's check out this chart. All right, just to give you some idea what these stocks look like on charts and why we were shorting them, take a look. This is the ADSK. This is we're looking at a 10 minute, uh, sorry, like a two minute chart from the last couple of days. This was Friday right here. You saw how the stock gapped up over here. So all we were looking to do is I'm not a big fan of buying these gap ups. I'll just look to play the fade. And sometimes we'll just short a stock because it's up huge. But again, you just want to just be real conservative and just stick to the rules what normally works okay so here's what normally works you see a stock opened up didn't get any traction off its gap a failed attempt to break the high today so right here we're looking for a short and then as it approached 3160 we got more excited and then really just started dipping our toe on this move down hoping to see it break 3150 and that would be the crossover from the close from last week so as it went negative we started putting our bids out and basically started shorting it at 3155 covering it down between 40 and 30 so not a bad way to start the day and then we moved over to APKT which is also kind of similar gap failed to break that high up here so we're looking for the fade again we chased this around 1820 it crossed over at 1816 
and we got our 12 or 14 cents out of it started covering around 1808 and then the rest at 18 bucks the next trade we did was the monster beverage sticking with the fade the gap mentality stock gapped up immediately started crashing we got short around 4550 and really nice trade because this one went immediately right down to another big whole number started covering around 45 09, 45, 07, and then it broke down already, but uh, really nice trade there on the 50 cent. And then just one more, we're looking at the Gilead again. If you see the stock gapped up and the price was 70, it was up here again. This looked like it was going to break out for a second, but then it came right back in. And here's our failed attempt to rally. And this is what I like to call the finger of God. One more failed attempt. So you had three lower highs and then the rollover. Again, I like shorting stocks when they cross over. So the stock was at 74.50, nibbled a little bit, and then the crossover was 74.40, and we always cover as it approaches the next big significant number, which was 74. So started covering right here, about 74.08, just a little bit. Just try to make three or four decent trades in the morning. 12 cents is fine, 15 cents is better, 25 cents is even better than that. And then with a little bit of uh, ammunition, we started looking at SRPT on the long side. We were also looking at Tesla on the long side at around 32.50. Uh, sorry, 32 when that broke this morning. Uh, right now we're in Zillow. Uh, we brought that at around 24.50, which now has retraced right back down to it, just holding a small lot. And that's where we are right now. We've got some FSLR options uh, for December. Still like this stock. And if this market continues to rally, we think FSLR has a nice chance to get to about 27 bucks. All right. See you guys in the room. And later on, we'll highlight one stock that we like the best on our segment called I'm Afraid You've Missed It. But for now, this is just a little bit of update of how our morning went so far. All right. See you guys in the room. Hit the bid.com radio.